What's up guys, Technobo here for Server Pro and welcome to this tutorial for installing and using Anvil Login. Anvil Login is a super easy to use login authentication system for your server. This plugin is probably most useful on servers that allow cracked clients to join. To install the plugin, head over to the plugin section on your Server Pro dashboard. Select the Spigot tab and search for Anvil Login. Install a version of Anvil Login with AuthMe support that's compatible with your server and restart. Alternatively, you could download it from the Spigot page and upload it to your Server Pro panel. You'll also need the LanguageG plugin installed on your server for Anvil Login to work, so ensure you have it properly installed. You can see what plugins you already have installed by going to the Install tab under Plugins. When a user without op or the plugin's Anvil GUI.bypass permission connects to your server, they'll see the plugin's GUI on their screen. From here, a user has 30 seconds to enter the correct password before they're kicked. Of course, I'll show you how to change this in the configuration later. By default, the password is admin or lowercase, and as soon as they type in the password and click the Anvil on the right, the menu disappears and Anvil login says that you're logged into the server in chat. Each time a user disconnects and reconnects, they'll be asked for the password again. The newest version of the plugin also supports the AuthMe plugin as well, so if you have that set up on your server, Anvil Login will automatically link with it. I've just installed the AuthMe Reloaded plugin and reconnected to my server. Without going into too much detail, I'll quickly demonstrate how Anvil Login works with it. If you're interested in learning more about AuthMe, we have a video on that as well. So I'll quickly register an account and I'll go ahead and reconnect to the server. Now, each user has to enter their own passwords instead of entering a global password that you set. Just keep in mind that if you did set a global password, that one will still work as well. Locate the config in the plugins folder. Config.yml lets us change general settings of the plugin for which there are only three super basic settings that you need to change. The first, password. This is where you want to set the password that users need to know to log into your server. The second, timeout. Timeout is a true or false value, which if set to true will kick the player if they fail to enter the correct password within a certain amount of time. That certain amount of time is the third option, time. This is measured in ticks. 600 ticks is equal to 30 seconds. If you wanted to make it longer, just remember to multiply how many seconds you want the user to have by 20, and then enter that number here. Going out of the file and into the lang folder, we have en underscore gb.yml, where you can customize different messages that appear in game, as well as their colors. For as basic as this plugin is, hopefully you'll find it useful. If you have any plugin suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. And if you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.